Before this video starts, I want to let you guys know that I actually started a Instagram food page reviewing, kind of explaining what the food is, just a lot of stuff and if you guys like seeing food blogs, like food vlogs, blogs, like eating food, let me know and I'll drop the Instagram link down below so give that a follow. I'm going to be posting more on that because eating, you can literally post whenever, wherever you eat at and car stuff, you kind of have to be at home and work in a car so give that a follow, I appreciate it. And you guys really want to see food vlogs or just daily vlogs let me know welcome back to my channel i know it has been like a month and i told myself that i was gonna try to record myself every week and keep updates on this software engineering boot camp i'm taking currently from ucsd which is the university of california san diego and there's a lot of options out there on which boot camp you want to take there's so many other good ones and the one i'm doing now i mean I can't really say if it's good or not versus like or comparing them to the other boot camp. My current boot camp, it's not bad. And what I mean by that is it's very fast paced. This is a part time boot camp that I'm currently taking from UCSD. It's a six month course. So you're taking class three days a week. My classes are Monday and Wednesday from 6 30 to 9 30 p.m. And then Saturdays from 10 to 2 p.m. But Saturdays is roughly like kind of three hours because you take a one hour lunch and the reason why they scheduled it this way is because it's for people that are working or you could take the full time which is monday to friday and i believe that's 10 to 2 every day from monday through friday that one you you finish it off in a three week or i mean not three week three month time span so you can finish the whole course in three months and get your certificate and go find a job and all that that's for people that aren't currently working which i mean kind of it fits me but i decided to do the part time because time when I applied paid for the courses I was doing part-time because I was currently uh, still working I decided to let that go and I'm just part-time with no job which kind of benefits me because I have more time to study and kind of you know chill for a bit and relax this whole course even though I'm taking the part-time the classes are super super fast-paced if you're very good at catching on stuff fairly easy depending on what it is it's good some of these classes that they're uh, teaching it kind of does take a little bit time for me to kind of understand and I'm not saying that it's hard it just really depends on the person so for the first month of my boot camp the first week was HTML second week was CSS third week was I think CSS also oops I forgot let me check real quick let me show you guys I'm not sure if I can even show this but it's just a calendar so <clears throat> it's whatever so HTML 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 so the first two weeks are technically HTML but I think the first week which is it started out right here on the september 1st they just did an html and you can just kind of finish your pre-work um but i finished my pre-work way before the class started css java and then okay so the fourth week was apis web apis the upcoming week or the month well we're on talk about the month right now you do continue on with java and of course more apis one week is strictly all css one week is strictly javascript and we're talking about like the fundamentals of javascript like the you know the basics not like getting in depth on like node and react and stuff the fourth week we did web apis and then we also have a homework due at the end of every week every saturday first homework was we just had to like debug a site that was really easy second week we did a portfolio, which that was fairly easy. Believe it or not, on my portfolio, I actually got a B plus because I thought, I read the readme file and it said that, oh, you can make whatever you want as in like, just make sure you meet the requirements, having like a specific flex box and everything. But <laughs> for some reason, I decided just to, I mean, I did all that, but it just, it's, did it pass? But after that, we had a password generator and then we made a code quiz, which both are involving JavaScript and you could go whatever you want to do with your HTML and CSS. I have a hop on my GitHub right here and show you guys. For those of you guys that are starting to get into this stuff, a lot of the classes require you to use GitHub. For those of you that have never been on GitHub, you guys will probably be introduced to it, whatever bootcamp you decided to do. And also, whatever free boot camps you end up doing, like free code camp or um, not free code camp. The, um, the Odin project is a really, really good one. I started off using the Odin project, but the only thing I didn't like about it is it's not structured very well, as in you kind of have to go out of your way and do a lot of research. In the real world, you're going to be doing a lot of research, even though once you finish your school and everything. GitHub pretty much looks like this. This Saturday, I'll be done with my two month at the boot camp, but we're just going to be reviewing the first month we started off with uh this one's a debugging 
and then a Pafola password generator, and then a JavaScript quiz. These four was the first month. This one right here is, don't worry about my readme files, I kind of learned how to like write them properly now, but we just had to debug this website, uh, fix it, make sure you put alts on the images, because if you don't, you can kind of get sued for it. That's what I've learned. You kind of need to have alts and titles on your photos because people that are, you know, impaired. Yeah, this is this. And then our portfolio. Um, I'm actually looking forward to the current portfolio that or our updates because I keep to kind of, oh yeah, this is disgusting, but I'm going to fix all this. But this is the portfolio I made. Um, did a fixed nav bar. Um, not much. And then I'm going to redo all this. And then you... I need to fix this though, if you look at this, you go over the fixed nav bar. You see that? It kind of goes over, but I'll fix that and then contact whatever I threw my YouTube channel down here. Of course, boys and girls. This is all basic HTML and CSS structure. And then the upcoming, um, this month, second month, we're gonna be, well, currently I'm doing a project with three other teammates. So that's all on here where we're all merging, requesting the first project and not gonna lie, it's not bad depending on who you work with. It's a very cool learning experience working with other people, especially like all through like the computer kind of. So you kind of have to push your, um, push your requests or push your, you know, updated files and then have them merge it, check if there's any conflicts or everything. And then going back to my GitHub, we had to do a password generator and then a JavaScript quiz. So this is all like, um, oh yeah, my readme is getting a little bit better. Kind of, sh you know, taking screenshots now. And this is the password generator that we had to do. This one where I kind of just, this was, um, it's weird. Classes, every odd number homework is they provide you a code. And then you kind of have to fix it. You kind of have to add some stuff to it. And then you can style it your way. So I kind of just radius out the, you know, in the box, change the fonts using Google fonts and then change the colors a little bit and then you click this, it prompts will pop up. How many characters? Let's just say like 90 characters for a password. Uppercase letters, okay. Lowercase, okay. Numbers, no. Symbols, no. So this is all gonna be letters. So that's a 90 no, case password or 90 letter password. Every even number homework you have to develop a whole code from scratch. So you do not get a template, you don't get a base or nothing at all. I feel like it's more fun because you're actually learning a lot more based off versus them actually providing you a template. But the template on like the odd number homeworks is actually very, very useful because if you know what you're doing, you could knock it out pretty fast and you could just chill for the rest of the week or start doing the next week's homework. Currently right now, um, the project, I've done my part in the project. In the project, since it's between 14 members, we all decide on what we want to do. Depending on who you work with, they might fight against, you know, you if they want to do CSS or, you know, for the front end and stuff. But luckily for me, one of them were like, oh, I know you're good with CSS and HTML. And I was like, okay. They're like, yeah, you want to do it? I was like, sure, why not? So this is a quick sneak peek on my current project, which is project one, which is due this Saturday. We decided to do like a recipe tracker. So you put in pasta and then recipes will pop up and you can choose them. And then, um, you know, it's, this is off from a outsource API that we're using, which is um, Spoonacular, which is a web API. The only downside with this API is like you don't have uh, 150, like you have a limit of 150 searches. You can use the key, the API key that they provide you. And then we also have wine pairing, which is like kind of chooses what wine you want for <laughs> whatever meal you're eating. And then we also have this one, which is the recipes that you can save, which we kind of just need to add uh, buttons to. And then uh, I'll s hop over to this on through local source through Java and it'll pop up right here. Try to be very, very simple with the designs since this is our first project. I don't know, I just want to get straight to the point. This is all using Tail Tailwind CSS. Now frameworks, there's a lot of CSS frameworks that you can use and there's so many out there but I ended up trying out Tailwind CSS, which is a framework, and everything's all built into the HTML file. For example, like, you can do a lot of stuff, especially if you go to the docs. Um, there's a lot that you can do on these, and then there's different versions too, which the version 2.2 still applies to 1.9. Uh, I didn't go this far yet to the 0 0.74. It's been using 1.9 in version two on Tailwind. What I mean by it's all on HTML, it's your style page, you can have your CSS page, but this is all I have. 
and then if you actually look at the site there's more to it because it's all built into the HTML it's a bit like bootstrap um, so you know you implement the package or you know the style sheet on the link and then everything's all built in to the classes on every div class or whatever element you want to do like for example like this the slogan or the title PL is pretty much padding left padding top and then text is base size there's just so much stuff like padding is 16 so this is the whole padding flex box uh, the, well the display is flex and then justify center so everything's all in the center and yeah this is a lot of stuff so my job on this project was to do pretty much like the yeah the CSS not the greatest but I like it I really like Tailwind though the nav bar that they um, that they kind of offer and then just a lot of stuff is very very simple it's a, it's just like regular CSS literally on here but you just literally just throw everything in the classes it's super super simple super easy that's that and then of course we have the Java files this uh, I think we're working on local storage right now yeah so yep oh, and they gotta do the readme still currently overall I feel like but overall on this boot camp I really really think that this class that I'm taking is very fast paced but it does depend you know on the person that's learning and I'll be honest with you there's a lot of people that are in this class well not a lot but there's a couple of people in this class that are you can tell that um, they're not really catching up fairly easy and I mean I admit I'm kind of one of them depending on what we're learning as you keep messing with it you'll learn it learning coding it's like it's all re like repetition once you do it a lot you'll figure it out you'll get used to what you have this time you get used to how to use the brackets semicolons and all that stuff I think after this month we're gonna be doing a lot of back and stuff but I still am a front end boy at heart because I just love aesthetics and just love messing with designing layouts on pages so I cannot wait to redo my portfolio because the portfolio we're doing is the project or the homework or the due date is next week after this project's done after our presentations on these projects. I am looking forward to that. And if you guys ever want to get into this bootcamp, I highly recommend looking online and seeing which one suits you the most. Cool, but that's it. That's currently what I've been up to. I've just been learning, doing homework, um, and grinding this. I think a lot of you guys commented or even told me on Instagram to make a video of like my setup but currently I am not home I am a home away from home so I have a part of my setup here but I really don't have everything here so I don't have my dual monitor setup I'm really just currently my um, my 27 inch AOC monitor uh, gaming monitor and then I just have my MacBook it's funny because I have this whole setup but I don't even connect my Mac to the monitor just because I, I, I don't know why but yeah so that's a, currently a recap, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think next video I'll show my current setup because a lot of you guys want to know my PC specs and what I currently use as peripherals, which is weird. You guys know me, I come from like messing with cars. I still love messing with cars. Still have, you know, knowledge about cars, doing swaps and everything. But now it's like we're kind of getting more into the high tech field. Deep down at heart, I'm a tech boy, I guess. That's what you would say. I love electronics, so it's like I have multiple hobbies. I put my PC together and stuff. So I guess I'll uh, make a re next video. I'll make a video of my current setup and what I use because I think a lot of you guys ask for like my keyboard and just in general stuff. But you guys can actually go in the description box down below and actually see all the stuff that I use on or what I built my PC with and what I currently use as in like my keyboard and my mouse and my monitor. So down in the description box check it out below if you guys ever want to get to crypto i got a coinbase link down below too so check that out boys and girls peace out guys unless others just keep building and of course i will keep building on this code